Hey everybody, before you continue watching the video, make sure you give the channel a like and subscribe. Go and follow us on um, Instagram. Go and check out all the different social media um, scenarios. Make sure if you're enjoying the content, go there, like, subscribe, follow, so we can keep putting stuff out. If you've got any questions, leave a comment. All right, make a comment on either of our pages and we'll answer them as soon as we can. Um, being over 40, you know, and, um, you have three kids as mm -hmm. well, yeah. which a lot of people would be that showcase excuse to not train. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like there's a lot of people, uh, oh, I'm already 30. I was like, you know, oh, I have a kid is really hard or, mm -hmm. oh, it's raining or, oh, you know, like people have excuses. <laughs> like they go, oh, I'm working harder. Like no one works. So, you know what I mean? Like, I mean. And, and, and I know you, you, you always train regular. You have a schedule. Yeah. Uh, I think when you like something and some, something more important, even when something makes you feel better, makes you feel, you know, optimal level, mm. you know, uh, you make, you make a time, you make a time and, yeah. and, and, uh, you, you've been doing that for a long time. And now, you know, also over 40, what are the changes that you have to make? to have the jiu-jitsu being part of your lifestyle for, for, for all these times, like having three kids, being over 40, there's a few adaptations, like we can't train every day. Mm -hmm. You have to have like a, you, are you always on yoga here? You have to have a yoga, like a stretching routine. Yeah. You know what I mean? What are the, the advices you can give to people that have like, you know, all these commitments? Okay, so like two, two questions in there. Like the first one about like, um, like managing the time to train like so like I work full-time um, like I have a side business um, and I teach and I uh, and I have three kids um, so basically it is 100% focused on what you want so if you want something you will make the time and that uh, you look at your schedule and then like how much time are you sitting down how much time are you watching tv how much are you flicking through your screen oh, yeah. how much time are you like wasting or you're being busy yeah. um but not productive yeah and for me when i started jiu-jitsu i i fell in love with the puzzle of trying to figure it out and the more that i solved the puzzle the more i realized i didn't know and the more i wanted to learn so I just made the time like and like, you know, I would negotiate time like with work or whoever so I could come. And then like I always had a commitment of like going a minimum of two times a week to three times if maximum. And if it came like I would go like, you know, times would come up like where I'd, have, I'd be on holidays. I would go like five days a week. Mm. But what I like, and it, it worked well with the evolution of the gym, more people coming, more classes becoming available. Yeah. I originally when more I first options. started, I trained at night. So, like, I work in the city, I would come uh, here, I'd train, then I'd go home. And I'd do it, like, two nights a week, three nights a week. Um, and at, at times, like, and uh, back in the old gym, there used to be a, I think it was, like, a gi class and a no gi class or other way around, like, one after the yeah. other. And I used to go, bang, I'd do two of them. So, that's two classes, then I'd get two other ones in right. there. And my body would hate me. Um, <laughs> like, even even back then when I was 30, it still hated me. Um then, uh, like, you know, when the kids were, came along, like, you know, I had one kid and I had two kids and uh, then three kids, um, the night times weren't working, like, you know, because you're trying to put kids to bed and shit like that. Okay, cool. I'm going to go midday. So I negotiated with my work. I said, hey, I want to be able to, and I worked in the valley at this stage, I want to be able to, um, to go and train. So they go, okay, cool. So, like, I would start work earlier mm. and then I'd, I'd, I'd get off at, like, um, I think it was 11.30 class. I'd stop at 11, go back at 2. I'd get on a bike. Like, it would go 11, 11 o'clock. I'd run down, get my bike, pedal here from the, the, uh, mm. the valley, train, then ride back. One time I was, like, so buggered, like, I clipped a bin and, like, went ass over tear. Um, okay. And so I almost crashed a few times. But it's because I, it's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, and I'd get back to work, I'd finish out my work, then I'd go home and take care of all my other duties. Uh, 
then uh, I moved offices again and then like uh, and then I had to like it was out in like um, on the north side of Brisbane kind of close to Lawton mm. then I drove like so I you know I'm still coming to daytimes and then that became much harder we, I moved into uh, the, back into the city and to try and get out of the city here mm. even though it's the same distance from the valley logistically it's way more difficult There's, you have to cross different paths and roads and stuff and the, the daytime wasn't um wasn't going to work for me i couldn't go to night and luckily at that stage morning classes started to come so i came to morning classes so i'm getting up like i lived at that time i lived in the north side getting up at five o'clock having all my stuff driving here training then going to work which is a brilliant lifestyle by the way you know yeah like i love the morning classes like I, go if no one's doing but people are, you know worried about getting up and early the rest of your day you've owned it already like you go and do it like a, a jiu-jitsu training session and then go to the rest of the like you're not bothered with stuff like oh, can be back boss, at home look like after this, the kids or oh, whatever and you just you move on but i wanted to do jiu-jitsu Like, that's the main thing I wanted to do. I had other things in my life, like music and this and da-da-da, but jiu-jitsu was a goal that I wanted to achieve. So it didn't matter what impediment was put up. I didn't focus on the impediment. It was like, how am I going to get around this? Get around this. Yeah. Like, and, like, I had big arguments with people at work and stuff, like, you know, major things like where, like, you know, I'd go to HR and all sorts of things about jiu-jitsu because, like, I'm going, like, well, fuck this guy. People He's saying have... I can't go. I'm going to go, and I'll show you that I'm going to go. And I, I made it happen. So I got, like, a lot of impediments um, thrown up at me, yeah. but I overcame them because that's what I wanted to achieve. But you don't have 10 cigarettes breaks during the day, do you? No, you work, correct. Uh... And, like, you know, I wouldn't eat lunch. So like, I'd, I'd be, like, spitting lunch on myself as I'm driving back type of thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I'd go to work early, I'd come late, and, like, I wouldn't have morning teas, and, like, I would just make it work. My work was always done. It's just for, like, a, you know, a period of driving and training. I was not there. Um, and, yeah, but it came down to it's what I wanted to do. I yeah. knew that's what I wanted to do, and I made it happen. So the second part is, is being 40. Um, a, a lot of it is um, really kind of putting your, your ego uh, in, in a vault, um, because you can't compete as much all the time with some younger people. But I, I, I slow my game down a lot and, like, I'll let people get things and get to spaces because I know that, like, even if someone gets my back, like, if I just relax and calm, let them burn themselves out if they're bigger, not all the time, but, like, I just kind of, not, I'm not so worried about winning a role because, like, I don't think that you win a role anyhow. Like, you get submitted and then you're either... You've submitted someone, you've learned something as the person who did the submission on someone going, okay, that worked. Oh, when I did this, this was, this was great. If you get submitted, oh, where did I go wrong? Oh, they did, right. did this next time I need to go back. So it's a win-win every time. And I know that's common in jiu-jitsu, but it's true from both angles. Would you say that like as you've gotten older, you're more composed in like worse scenarios and stuff like that? Because yes. Because you've just got more 100%, experience. 100%, and... yeah. You yeah. get better escaping too yeah. because you're so much more... Uh, like slower eh? like yeah. on the yeah. and so article. interestingly like I have claustrophobia mm. um, and so when I first started jiu jitsu it was, it was pretty uh, difficult it was pretty with. difficult yeah. um, and like because like I'd get like someone who's really big on top of me and then like I would panic and like I've had to stop roles numerous occasions because like I started having a panic attack because of claustrophobia like yeah. I'm getting squashed and I can't move I'm like get off me yeah. um, and then I, I'd explain to the person oh, like I'm sorry like but you know blah 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 um, and they go oh, okay and like interesting I've had a, a student running out before of the class because they were claustrophobic but I didn't know yeah. they, they never came back and I sent a, a, a text to Edward I said oh some guy ran out I don't know yeah. what happened but we, we pieced it all together yeah. um, but really it's just about going and having fun so I'm not I'm not out to, to prove anything yeah. I like to roll hard And, like, if there's competitions and I've decided to go to a competition, we'll, like, I'll beef it up a little bit. But I'm out there as an instructor trying to make people better, not to, to win or anything. Yeah. So it's more that, like, I, it, my game is just much more relaxed. If you pass my guard, okay, cool. I'm not going to let you pass my guard, but if it gets passed, okay. It happens okay. you're not going to panic anymore. You're exactly. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and even with, like, like because it's been so long now, the claustrophobic thing doesn't come around as much because I'm composed. It's a, claustrophobia, is, claustrophobia is just a f uh, fight or flight yeah. uh, response. 
And it used to be a flight where you have to get out. And it's not even a fight now. It's just, a, okay, there, breathe, bang, bang. And just. And I also don't let my get self get into positions that I know that trigger it um, like really quickly. Yeah. Um, and when I'm against big guys, like I just play that, that game um, and I don't let anything just get set up. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's really about just slowing things down and being calm and not worrying about the end result. My like, I like to get a submission um, these days through as little effort as possible. Um, that's, and that's the goal, why, though, isn't it? That's the goal of jiu-jitsu, You know what I mean? Yeah. To achieve your goal with, yeah. with as much efficiency yeah. as possible. Yeah. Um, I- exactly. Like, oh, if I can get that submission where I haven't had to really work for it, mm. I love it. That's why I like uh, uh, wrist locks, and I don't get them as much now, but. Like a lot of the students in the morning class, they'd be doing something and they'd be like here. And they're just sitting there like that. And if yeah. they're a blue belt, you're gone. Yeah. And like, and I would get it. But they've now all learned to keep things close and not to do this like yeah. the old gooseneck. Um, but like I like that submission because it was so simple. I had to do nothing for it. They just had their arm there. Yeah, I think that's interesting, man. Like as you get older, you're kind of forced into doing jujitsu properly, you know what yeah. I mean? Because you just don't have the same energy output. And that's yeah. from anyone. Like, man, like even the way I – like I'm still strong and athletic and stuff like that, but like the oh, amount of output <laughs> – Yeah, man, but like – A little bit. Yeah. But no, but like the, the – the, 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 no, but the output of energy that I had when I was 20 versus now, 26, 20, 10, yeah. 27, is massively different. Like, man, I could just do whatever I wanted when I was 20. And, and you, you talk about – uh, any athlete, like I'm still strong. I'm in the prime of. You but know, you're using a better surface. Yeah, it's I'm, yeah. I'm efficient with what I'm doing. I don't yeah. just go. Oh, I don't care. I can get through anything. Do it have the Just oh. pure biology. Biology is not supposed to be something you rely yeah. on. You're supposed to rely on. And it'll give you longevity techniques if you start doing absolutely. it now, even more longevity. The earlier you can learn that, the better. And the thing is, is I just think it's funny that. People try to resist that for as long as possible, but like it's inevitable. Like yeah. time will take and away. They break everything. themselves most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And being themselves. small, like I, I, like for a long time, I've had to resort to being, you know, you know, faster or whatever. Well, yeah, faster, mm. but just smarter yeah. about what I what I'm doing. <laughs> for like, sure. Um, and <clears throat> so, and then Eduardo touched on it, like. One, from a game perspective, it's to slow it down uh, and just be smarter and calmer. Um, but from a complementary thing, uh, like yoga. So I've been doing yoga for like a year and a half now, uh, and that has been amazing. So I would recommend to anyone to do like yoga classes. I that, think we are the most regulars, eh? Like, oh, like I barely yeah. miss a class. Yeah. Uh, and But it's it's been a real benefit of just like core strength. Um, I do some weights, like some kettlebell stuff and, and push-ups and chin-ups and things like that, but I don't do a lot of weights. Um, I don't think that that's very – I just um, – Have you added all of this stuff, like, as you've gotten older or – Yeah. So when I was younger, like, I wouldn't Care about warm it up. Much, yeah. I would just go in, like, go hell for leather and then go home. Yeah. Wouldn't stretch down, wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Never did anything else. Yeah. Um, but now, like, I, I'd like to do more complementary sort of things, like – some like a whole body, uh, you know, yeah. um, body weight exercise, like where I just do squats and lunges um, and push ups and dips and, yeah. and chin ups and things, so that my whole body is not big, but like I'm, I'm maintaining the core yourself. strength yeah. Yeah. Um, and flexibility, like flexibility and movement um, and mobility, I think is really important. Like, I don't want to get to a point. Um, of like where I can't move, I can't walk, I can't bend so over. So would you things. say it's as you've gotten older, it's more important to have like a physical maintenance regime? Yeah, but yeah. you should start it. As yeah, soon of as course, possible. you should have it forever. But I think yeah. like it's even more important the older you get. Yeah, without yeah, a doubt. Sure. And like, don't don't get drawn into this like uh, deadlifting stuff. Yeah, it's not about power. Yeah. It's just maintaining yeah. some some level of movement, strength, and, and conditioning, and yeah. mobility and yeah. flexibility. I recently yeah. just uh, tried Pilates, which yeah. was actually really good. Yeah. Um, and like, I like to do lots of things. Like, in some exercise, we'll be just going for a hike. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be like this gym um, orientated. Um, yeah, uh, lifting activity. heavy, smashing your body, whatever. Yeah. Um, like I'll go for a hike or, you know, even just a walk, but it's that movement and that complementary lifestyle to doing jiu-jitsu. Also, knowing when to not train as well, I think is, has been very important. Resting, like yeah. I still have the same mentality, like I want to train, I want to train, I want to train, I want to train, but I need to listen. I listen to my body a lot more. I've even done it before, like where I've gone for it to start to do exercise and I like, you know, I'll do like a bicep curl or something and go, oh, there's a bit of a tweak there, and I go. Normally, I get 
don't be a pussy. Like, let's get through it. Yeah. Now I'm like, let's just put that down because, yeah. like, I'm, I don't want to risk something for what? Like, some type of, like, male ego nonsense. I want to be able to train jiu-jitsu. Mm. I want to have a good life. I want to be able to play with my kids, go out and do things and whatever it might be. Um, and so you have to approach what you're doing differently. You know? I think, like, probably the biggest thing you're mentioning, like, underlying and everything, is, like, you need to find a deep level of discipline mm. to have the outcome in the life you want. And yep. it started with, like, you know, I'm going to be so disciplined with how well I do my work and eating lunch and doing all this stuff so I can go and train jiu-jitsu. Yep. And I'm going to structure a life through my own discipline where I can actually do the things that I want. Yeah. And now that I'm getting older and, you know, it's harder on my body, and I'm going to be more disciplined with who I train with, how I train with them, what I do to maintain myself and all this stuff. And the thing is, is all of the, all it is at the end of it is how disciplined you are being with your own regime or your own schedule. And the, the more disciplined you are with anything, the better outcome you have. Yeah. And I think that's something that particularly younger dudes or pe- younger people in general never, never even consider. Yeah. Uh, it's that balance. Yeah. Like, the, what, like for me, like a lot of that is about balance. Like, self-discipline. Though, I think the, yeah. the more you do these movements, the more you expose yourself to, to stretching, the more you, you, the, the more time you do, the more you, you got to f- understand yourself. So you ask, like you can s- understand when it's time for you to not train. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you have this, Mm. understanding of inner self that's very important i think to be able to be the judge of these calls you know yeah exactly and like yeah. as, as an instructor as well like so i'm a black belt like you know i don't care if i tap to someone like this not a black belt mm. like if i get one of my students and they catch me i'm gonna tap mm. don't care i think mm. that's a really important thing like as a level you got whether you're a blue belt purple belt brown belt if someone get, is, is getting you, like, you need to let go of your ego and tap because I've seen a bunch of people get injured as well um, because they don't want to tap to a lower belt. Just take it on the chin mm-hmm. and go, okay, they caught you because that's going to happen. Um, and I think that's one of the things, like, that, um, like, being older is, like, my, my recovery is going to be a lot longer mm-hmm. than, like, you know, someone in their 20s. And yeah. so, like, I, I will avoid things... Um, that I where I don't get injured as well. If someone gets my arm extended, tap, done. Don't care who you are, mm. I'm going to tap. And I think that's actually a very important uh, sort of part of training when you're older as well. Yeah, for sure. I think it's the same thing. Saying. You, you're understanding more, but at the end of it, it's just being disciplined with everything you're doing. Like, oh, I'm going to be disciplined with tapping. I want to be disciplined with my yeah, schedule. Yeah. I'm going to be disciplined with my stretching. Like, the, the importance of discipline is so, like, um, obvious in life in general, but... As you get older with anything physical, because your body, like man, the, it, it, whether it's a professional NBA player or whatever, a guy at twenty is eating cheeseburgers and doing whatever he wants, and he yeah. can still perform the same way. A guy at forty cannot. Yeah, you better be your diet better be right. You yeah. better be stretching. You better be working out. Yeah. You better be tapping when you need to. You better be doing it. Like man, you have to be so much more disciplined because the repercussions are bigger. Correct. And the the, the I just think it's interesting that as you get older. You, you, if you are aware of this stuff, if you're open to, you know, understanding this stuff, you're going to develop a, a deeper level of, of discipline and you're going to be way stricter with things and you're going to structure and organize things properly yeah. because if you don't, you're going to have bad outcomes. Yeah. And here I in think, Australia, you, sorry. Yeah, I just think as a, as a younger dude, you don't have to do that and that's why yeah. that is a trap of jiu-jitsu, that, that trap itself of not being disciplined and not, not knowing where things stand and not being disciplined and strict with things whether it's stretching, whether it's everything. I'm, I'm the same. I have never, ever had a disciplined, structured routine for stretching. And I've been injured countless times because of that, because I never focused on that. The only thing I focused on was getting stronger and more powerful and, you know, this and, and more strength and more power and more strength and more power and never focused on being flexible. And I've had multiple knee injuries and I've had this and I've had ankle injuries and I've broken this and I've broken that and I've had knee reconstructions and blah, blah, blah. And the reason for that is because of not being disciplined. And the reason you're not disciplined is like, ah, it'll be right, whatever. This this poor attitude of, of ill discipline because I'll just get through it with my biology. I'll just get through it because of this or because of this. And people do that in every aspect. Mm. We, we talked about right at the start of this kind of podcast where the guys that were um, professional fighters running a gym that didn't give a shit about the general population of the gym, which brings the majority of the income. Yeah, yeah. 
They're, they're the majority of the gym, but they don't care about that. And they're not disciplined with promoting or giving a good product because all they cared about was their own training. Yeah. And uh, this is just extra garbage to, to you know, fund our own training. Yeah. But, man, you, like, if you're disciplined with that now, you create a great scenario for everything and it, everything improves. Yeah. And I just, yeah, I just think it's an important point to note that, like... And bringing yeah, it full circle yeah. to that question, like... I moved my life around and, and, yeah. and, and situated it so I could train jiu-jitsu. Yeah. That goal hasn't changed. Yeah. doesn't matter what belt you've got. My goal is still to train jiu-jitsu. And so it might not be a, about time now, yeah. but it's about my ability to train jiu-jitsu. So I'm not going to do something where I'm going to get injured or, or cause myself some type of impediment to train jiu-jitsu. Yeah. That's right. And your circumstances are always going to change, but your, your goal is always the same, you know what I mean? So Correct. you're going to have to adjust and change and be disciplined in different areas yeah. and in different things, but you're still always focusing on how can I work on my own self-discipline to create the life that I want? Yeah. I want to do this. This is the goal. So what do I have to cut back on and be disciplined around so that I can achieve this? 100%. Yeah. And like like since I started jiu-jitsu, that has been one of my core focuses. Like it's I wanted to always be like a, a prominent positive thing which it is in my life thanks for watching the video guys hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you give it a like subscribe and a follow check out all our different social media platforms there's heaps of content coming out there's different snippets and content on different on different platforms so make sure you're on everything and again if it helped you out recommend to somebody else and hopefully it'll help them out too